reaction to President Gabe swearing in? The inauguration is a meaningless exercise. Uh, the world has said so, Zimbabweans have said so. So it's an exercise in self-delusion. Mm -hmm. Haven't you just handed the momentum back to President Mugabe and his ZANU-PF by not taking part in these elections? What's your reading of that? Far from it. Um, we have not handed him anything. As far as we are concerned, the world and the African Union is building up, the pressure is building up against him. Uh, and so as far as we are concerned, we are nearer the solution that we have ever been. Because as far as, where does he go from here? Uh, he cannot solve the economic problem. He cannot solve the 8, per, eight million percent inflation uh, by continuing to be in this transient mood. Mm -hmm. What's your next move now? Surely you must have realized this was going to happen. Yes, we do. We know that he was going to do that. We know that whatever we did, he was going to lead to a predetermined outcome. If we participated, he was going to claim victory. If we don't, he's going to claim victory. This is what has happened. But we are saying with the build up of the pressure in the African Union, there are three things. One is that the 27th election or so-called election should never be recognized by anybody. Secondly, we believe that the March 29 election reflected the will of the people and that that should be the basis upon which any negotiation, that leads to the third issue, any negotiation for a transition should be based. Mr. Mugabe said he's willing to negotiate with the MDC. Uh, are you willing to talk to him now that he's extended the hand? This is not an extension of the hand. He is in that circumstance. He has no option but to negotiate with the opposition. If he wants to go ahead, let him go. I wish him well. Mm -hmm. You have been invited for the swearing in ceremony. Are you not chuffed? Uh, First of all, I did not receive the invitation. I have heard people talk about it. And secondly, I would not have attended that, that, uh, that, that ceremony because I don't believe it will be a serious contradiction for me to go and sit up in that, in that ceremony when I have said that that election is a sham. Okay. Do you see Zimbabwe, say, five years from now, having gone through dramatic, dramatic changes that will enable I mean, everybody to start uh, at least ad adjusting to a situation, to a normal economic and political environment? I'm very confident about the future of this country. In the short term, in the medium term, uh, this crisis will go away. We will have to sit down as Zimbabweans and find a solution. Never mind what Mugabe is trying to chase for his own selfish egos. I think that the reality is dawned on all the elites in ZANU-PF that without negotiating with the MDC, this is a dead end.